Hi, in this video we're going to look at how product rule and quotient rule are similar. To refresh ourselves, let's look at product rule. Product rule is ddx of f of x times g of x, two functions being multiplied together, and that's going to be f times g prime plus g times f prime. Again, you're only differentiating one at a time, and make sure that you differentiate all of them. You know? So f g prime, don't differentiate g again, and g of f prime. Okay. Over here, quotient. With the quotient rule, if we've got uh, two differentiable functions, f and g, and we want to find the derivative here, it's g f prime minus f g prime over g squared. Um, again, g is in our denominator. Um, another way to remember this that might help is to take the idea of low d high minus high d low, all divided by low squared. Uh, that way you can keep in mind where these, uh, these different pieces are coming from. You know, the low function being the one that's lower than, than the high function. So, um, we're going to take a look at quotient and see how using product rule we can get back to it. So, let's take the idea of f of x divided by g of x. And again, we want to take the derivative with respect to x taking the derivative with respect to x. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite this as a product. And so this is really the function f of x times, and just like dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal 1 half, um, I can say that f of x divided by g of x is really f of x times g of x to the negative one power. G of x to the negative one power. Okay, so here now I'm going to use product rules. So first times the derivative of the second plus second times the derivative of the first. And I just need to remember to treat this second piece here as a general power rule. So differentiating here, what I come up with is f times g prime of x. So first times derivative of the second. So that's f of x. And then we're going to take this times the derivative of this entire piece, which is going to be negative 1 times g of x to the negative 2 power. Okay, so we just bring the power out front, leave the, leave the inside alone, decrease the power by 1, so from negative 1 to negative 2. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside, which is g prime of x. Okay, so that's, this is the entire first piece. This is this entire first piece. Now we need to add on to this g times f prime. Well, the g, our second piece, is g of x to the negative 1 power. And then we have to multiply that times f prime, and the derivative of f of x is f prime of x. Okay. So at this point, we are finished with our derivative. Okay, we're finished with the product rule. However, from here, we're just going to show some algebra steps on how we can simplify this back. Okay. First thing we're going to address is my negative exponents. I'm going to get this so that I only have positive exponents left. So, next step, coming down. I've got f of x, which is a positive power, and I've got g prime of x. So I've got f of x, g prime of x, and I've got a negative 1 that I multiply by each of these. So I'm taking times that entire piece. And then g of x to the negative 2 is actually g, g of x quantity squared, but in the denominator. g of x quantity squared. That takes care of my front end. Looking at the back end, I have f prime of x divided by g of x to the negative 1 is really g of x in the denominator. So now I have these two fractions. You might notice that these are unlike fractions. One has a denominator of g of x squared, or g of x times g of x, and the other one is just simply g of x. So to create a common factor, 
or a common, not a common factor, but a common denominator. I need to take both the numerator and denominator on this side times g of x. And again, I multiply it both numerator and denominator because that's going to be a ratio equal to 1. So now, multiplying the back end, front end stays the same, negative 1, f of x, g prime of x, all over g squared, or g of x squared, plus f prime of x times g of x, all over g of x, or g squared. Now that I have these two equal to each other, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my positive in the front and then subtract uh, this negative piece, which is going to be my last step here, and I get f prime of x times g of x. Uh, hold on, let me rewrite that. Okay, using commutative property of multiplication, I can rewrite this as g of x times f prime of x. That's the same thing as f prime times g. Minus f of x, g prime of x, all divided by g of x quantity squared. And at this point, you can see that g f prime minus f g prime over g squared is right there. Okay, so that's how our product rule and our quotient rule are really not only similar, but exactly the same.